Hey, gamers and game developers. Welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to source for the latest in gaming news and development insights. Today, we have an exclusive interview with the developer of Krog, a roguelite survival action RPG, who shared their journey using Unity and Spatial SDK for the Wolves Den game jam. From production to pitching, we're diving deep into how Krog was created. Stick around for some valuable insights. If you haven't heard about Krog, it's an indie roguelite survival RP with unique sword building mechanics. Developed by Shroudy Software, this game has garnered attention for its chaotic and creative gameplay. Inspired by a real-life incident involving a crow stealing a knife, Krog brings together elements from games like Katamari, Dungeon Crawlers, and Procedural Generation to create a one-of-a-kind experience. The developer, part of Shroudy Software, learned about Wolves Den through videos and ads, but decided to participate after a co-worker suggested it. Game jams like Wolves Den provide an excellent opportunity to practice scope management and deliver a minimum viable product MVP under constraints. The chance to meet judges, gain feedback, and potentially secure funding was too good to pass up. The inspiration behind Krog came from the developer's love for indie development and unique concepts. The story of Kanok the Crow, who stole a knife from a crime scene, sparked the idea. Combined with elements from favorite games and the desire to create something chaotic and fun, Krog was born. This project was the developer's first experience with Spatial's SDK. Although they had limited experience with WebGoal, Spatial made the development process smoother by handling many of the technical aspects. The platform offers a plethora of features and robust support, making it easier for developers to focus on creating their game. Production for Krog was planned in phases. The initial phase focused on creating a playable prototype that showcased the core sword building mechanic and scalable dungeon generation. Using Trello to organize ideas, the team brought in talented artists and musicians to contribute to the project. The team consisted of 2D artists Sleepy Stardrops, musicians from Strawberry Shark, writers like Jame, and modelers Harry and Jess. They worked closely to deliver a chaotic and engaging game, constantly iterating based on feedback from playtesting. The game underwent around 130 builds with continuous playtesting to ensure quality and fun. Unity and Spatial SDK integrated seamlessly for Krog, the tools provided by Spatial along with excellent documentation and support accelerated development. Although some parts had to be rebuilt to support WebGoal limitations, the developer leveraged features like achievements and currency to enhance the game. For developers starting out, the combination of Unity and Spatial offers a user-friendly and powerful platform for game development. The auto-compliance tools and ability to rectify issues quickly are significant advantages. Preparing the pitch for Wolves Den was a crucial step. The developer wrote and practiced the pitch multiple times, incorporating gameplay footage to demonstrate the game's functionality. It's essential for creators to present their product with a clear plan for execution and milestone achievements. Confidence in your product and a passion for what you're creating are key to a successful pitch. The developer's experience with user-generated content edge came from extensive time spent with games like Gmod and CS. However, web-based gaming edge was a new area. They discovered the potential for cross-game implementation, economy, and branding using platforms like Spatial. Developing simultaneously for web, phone, and VR reduces the burden on development teams and enables rapid development. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the development of Krog. If you enjoyed this exclusive look, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more in-depth gaming news and updates. Hit that bell icon to be notified whenever we upload new content. Until next time, keep gaming and stay creative.